Now every Linux distribution has at least one or maybe more official repository and may have some other third party repo depending upon the distribution of Linux you are using. Now these repo contain collection of software packages built and compiled specifically for that distribution of Linux. Now package managers like apt, yum or pacman are used to download and install packages from these repository onto your system. By default, package manager download packages only from the stable repo which contains stable but older version of software packages. Other repos like testing, unstable, experimental etc. may contain additional packages that are either not available in the stable repo or they are of latest version than that of the stable repo. Now you can download packages from any repo of your choice by a very simple process called apt pinning. And today's video is just about that. So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and in today's video, we'll understand how to download a software package from any repo of your choice without shifting your entire operating system to a new branch like testing or unstable. Now for the purpose of demonstration, I'll be using Debian GNU Linux which has apt as its default package manager. For other Linux distribution that do not have apt installed by default, the process may differ slightly, but you always have the option to install apt package manager on majority of Linux distribution out there. All right, so with that said, let's begin today's video. Alright, so here I am on the latest version of Debian GNU Linux, which is version 8.1, codename Jesse. Now the configuration file that apt uses to download packages from the repository is the sources.list file, which is under etc apt. Alright, so let's browse to etc apt. And as you can see under this, you have a file named sources.list. Now before we open this file up, let's quickly change to root because you need root privileges in order to make changes to this file. Okay, now let's open sources.list. Now this is the default entries in the sources.list file. Now the first two lines are for those who wants to install a software package from your CD drive. I do not reuse CD to install packages. So let me comment the second line so that app does not read this line. Now let's go to the third line and take a closer look. The first word is deb, which indicates that this repository contains Debian pre-compiled packages. You can also have deb-src, which is Debian source. This indicates that the repository contained source files, which can be used to make changes to the packages and then recompiling those packages. All right, so I do not want the source files. So let me comment this line also. All right, next is the URL of the repository. Now you can check the complete list of repository along with its mirror sites by going to this website, which is debian.org slash mirror dot list. Now, depending on the location where you reside, you can use any of the URL of your choice. All right. Let's go back to the terminal. Then next is the branch. Jesse indicates that it's the stable branch. You can also have testing, unstable, experimental in place of Jesse. Then you have main, contrib, or you can also have non-free. Now main indicates that it contains those packages that complies to Debian free software guideline. Contrib contains those packages that do comply to Debian free software guideline, but they have dependencies on other non-free packages. And then you can also have non-free, which indicates those packages that do not comply to Debian free software guideline. All right, so this is your sources.list file. Let's exit by saving the changes. Type Y, press enter. All right, now after you make changes, it's very important to run this command apt get update. This will update your package manager index. Press enter. All right, suppose we want to install Chromium browser on our system. Now first, let's check which version of Chromium is available. To do that, type apt cache 
policy chromium and press enter now as you can see installed is none so we do not have chromium installed we have the browser under our stable repo with version number 44.02403 now what if we want to check if a new version is available in the testing or unstable repo and install that version instead of this older version to do that we need to do two things we need to make uh, changes to sources.list file and then we also have to create a preferences file now let's go about doing this first let's go to our sources.list file and make necessary changes so let's open the sources.list file now here let's include our testing as well as our unstable branch so type in deb give a space and for the url let's go to the debian website and copy this url we are going to use united states so it's ftp.us.debian org slash debian so let's go back to our terminal and type in http colon ftp.us.debian.org slash debian and then type in testing for testing repo main and let's include contrib also Similarly, for the unstable, use the same URL, ftp.us.debian.org slash debian slash unstable main contrib. Now let's exit, save changes, yes. And now let's again run apt get update. To update our package manager index all right next is to create a preferences file so I have already created it let's go to home XPS tech documents and under this I have a preferences file let me open it up in a nano text editor all right let's discuss the entries in preferences now first line is package which is given as star this indicates all the packages next is pin we have pin to release and given a equal to testing so it tells that the release should be pinned to testing and then we have given the pin priority which is 600 now you can give it any number but it should be below thousand the higher the number the greater the priority of that branch all right so 600 is for testing that means that if a package is available in all the branches then by default it will download and install the package from the testing branch because it has a greater priority similarly we have a package uh, up into a stable branch and then the third part we have a pin to an unstable branch which is given a priority as 200 which is the least priority out here so this is our preferences file let's exit from here and let's copy this preferences to our Etsy apt directory all right now let's go to Etsy apt and we have our preferences file out here now let's again run apt get update And now if we search for Chromium browser, apt cache policy Chromium. As you can see, we have the options available from all the branch. So in unstable, we have version 44.02403.157. In the testing branch, we have the option of 104. And in the stable branch, we have 89. And also, if we look here we have the pin priority as we have given in our preferences file so 300 is for stable 200 is for unstable and 600 is for testing branch now to install a package from the repo of your choice all you have to do is type in apt get then you can give the dash t option 
and give the branch you want so if i want to install it from let's say unstable branch so i type in unstable and then type in install chromium now this will start installing chromium browser from the unstable branch let me discontinue from here now again if you want to install it from the testing branch you can just type in testing this will install chromium from the testing branch all right let me exit it from here all right so that was all for today i hope now you're comfortable with the reposit linux repository and how to install a package from any linux repository of your choice so thank you guys for watching this a huge shout out to all the subscribers of xps tech channel if you like this video kindly press the like button if you have any comment or suggestion please type that in in the comment box and thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time.